can you talk about the sort of rapid upskilling that happens with with cyber ranges? Because I mean, it, like if if you're in that point right now where you're like, I this sounds really interesting. I feel like I can contribute to this. I want to start learning immediately. Can you give like sort of an estimation of what? you know, how long they, they might take them to sort of feel comfortable, have a demonstrable set of experiences that will and then in terms, you know, have someone else be able to take a chance on a, on a relative newcomer like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm obviously I'm biased because of our, our boot camp, our career launch pad, the fa- mm-hmm. foundations uh, level. Um, we, we built that to most rapidly career transition in, in 16 weeks. Mm-hmm. And those are 16 grueling weeks. That's why yeah. we called it a boot camp. Yeah, As sure. a military guy, that means something, right? It's like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. really grueling. Yeah. Um, but but it but it's that's you know the the shortest possible time frame that we could engineer and and mm-hmm. feel comfortable saying, actually, no, this person knows enough to be effective on the day yes. on the job one or day one of the job. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say that when we when we um, spoke with a lot of the hiring managers that would employ these folks, uh, you know, our our, our trainees. Um, a whole, a huge range of responses. Some said 10 years, maybe. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think there's some, there's some real truth to the range in that there's things that you can do using tools. If you know how to use a tool, you can be effective after, mm-hmm. after only a handful of weeks, really, yeah. um, maybe a couple of months of, even if you don't, you know, you can, you can put together an Excel spreadsheet or something, but but to, to program something, no way, right? Yeah. Um, but even after a, a, a dozen weeks or, or you know, or so, you can you could be effective in being part of a cybersecurity platform, mm-hmm. um, um, being you know being a, a level one SOC analyst maybe uh, with mm-hmm. some mentorship and some ongoing training yep. and and so on. Um, though I think we always have more room to grow. So mm-hmm, even though mm-hmm. I've been doing this, for, I mean, we've yeah. been doing this for decades, right? And it's yeah. like, there's always more to learn. There's always some, you know, you lift up a rock and there's like a hundred more things to uncover. And sure, like, wow, sure. this is such a deep field. It's really exciting. So, so I think, you know, probably the biggest, the biggest thing to, to just keep in mind for those that are thinking about the field is that you're never going to stop learning, which is to me, part of the fun really. But oh, yeah. also oh. don't, not to be intimidated by that, that, you know, yeah, you can actually be effective, even if it's just helping people yeah. understand how to enable security by default on their system in yeah. a very simple way, just being able to communicate with people or, or, you know, run a few, run a few uh, um, log traces and see, Oh, there's something going on here mm-hmm. and then escalate it to the next level up. And and that can actually make a material difference because we need, you know, really all hands on deck. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash challenge and start your challenge right now.